This training video is brought to you by K Alliance. K Alliance provides high quality instructor led training videos for desktop, IT, and soft skills. Visit us online at www.kalliance.com to sign up for your free seven day trial. Be sure to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching, and we hope you learned something new. Real videos, real learning, real success. The reason forms are created is to make data entry much, much smoother than if you were typing into a table. That's the whole goal behind forms. So you need to make it as smooth as possible by having the cursor go from the field to the next field in the proper order. Now the way they by default happen is the order that you put them on your form. Let me go look at a form with you really fast. It's called customer details. Here's the purpose of this form. When this form opens, people are starting to collect information. So there's a customer service representative on the phone and they're collecting information about a brand new customer. So you can see the cursor is flashing here at company. So it's telling you start typing at company. That's not what the company wants though. Now they've realized they want to start down here in the notes section because the first thing that they want to gather is how did people find out about us? So the person on the phone, how did this person find out about us? Well, maybe this person found out it from an internet search. We better spell it right there. And then I want to click the tab and when I click tab, then I want it to go up into the company field so I can say then to the person, and what's your company name please? and then it goes from company name to first name and so on and so forth. But you notice when I was in internet search and I hit tab, it's not activating the company field because that's not the order of the tabs. So what we want to do in this form is we want to rearrange the tab order so that the note field is first. So let me delete that information. I'm going to close this form and let's open it in design view. So now we've opened the form in design view. And with the form opened in design view, now I want to work with this form. But before I look at the tab order, let's click on one of the controls and let's go into the property sheet. And this is already turned on, but if it were not turned on, you would just right click and all the way at the bottom, you find properties. Let me hit escape because it's already here. And on the tab for others, there are two items that we want to look at that has to do with the tab order. And so as I'm looking at other, um, let's see. Oh, where'd it go? Hold on just a second. Let me click on something else to refresh. Maybe something didn't behave properly. Oh, I see what's going on. Well, here's what's happening. I can't find it because for some reason it's sticking on the form. Let me just double check here that we're in design view. We're in design view. There, now it refreshed. I'm not sure why it got stuck on the form, but I could tell it was on form because I couldn't get to tab index and I couldn't get to tab stop unless I was just overlooking it, which is very, very possible that I was overlooking it. So when you click on the control of a field, it will tell you if the tab is set to stop on that control with a yes or a no. Now you can turn off the tab if you don't want it to stop, but we certainly do want it to stop. And then the other thing it will tell you is the index number. Index number is just like the sort order, and it starts with zero instead of one. So zero is the beginning. So when this form opens, the cursor is flashing inside of that control for company. If I go down to first name, what I discover with first name is I still have tab stop yes. Now it says zero here, but I want to show you something. See the three little dots, the ellipse? An ellipse is a build button. And when I click the build button, this pops open the dialog box for tab order. And it says company is first or zero, followed by first name, followed by last name. Now I'm going to go ahead and cancel out of this and watch what happens. As soon as I cancel out, it updates that and it says, okay, that's the next one. And would you trust me, if I told you last name is the same, it's stopping, this one isn't refreshing, it will though as soon as I leave there, it'll say, oh, that's the, it's kind of weird, it's the second one, but in reality it's the third one. But it's the second one after you get started. So what I want to do is I want to rearrange the order. I could do it in my properties, but that's going to take all day, because I'd have to go through every single one of the controls. So instead, what I want Back over here to the ellipse, if you're in the properties, you click the ellipse and you want the dialog box for tab order. But let me click and cancel. What if your properties aren't open? If your properties aren't open, then what you want is on the form design tools, 
you go to the design tab to get to the ribbon and at the end of the ribbon you have the tools group and right there is your button for tab order and as soon as you click tab order same dialog box there's the exact same dialog box and this will give you the list of the order that the tabs are going to go in on your form so if you need to change something it's a drag and a drop now first of all I'm going to mess my form up just to show you how this works so how do you select it's the little gray box at the left. You see how my mouse changes from the left arrow to the little thick right pointy arrow? And you click to select the field. And then you keep your mouse, not red, not this left slanted arrow, but over on that gray box. See how it changes shape and it changes the color? That's the left slanted clear arrow that you want. You click hold, you don't let go until you place that black line. And wherever that black line is, that's where you would want that tab to stop. So now it'll start on first name, it'll go through all of those areas. When it gets to city, it'll go back up to company. Okay, that's not what I want, so let me drag it back up to the top. But I wanted to show you how to move things. You can also do it with multiple items. So let me grab email, web page, and notes. And with all three of those selected, and then I let go with my mouse, now I'm going to grab one of those little boxes. It doesn't matter which one. I'll drag that up between city and state. So you see, you have full control over the order. You just drag it however you want to move it. And I want to put this back at the bottom. I don't really want to mess those up. Here's the only thing I really want to change. Let me deselect here. Oops, there we go. The only thing I really want to change is notes. Because remember, I want notes to be the very first item in the tab order. So I click on notes, let go, and then I get the little box over to the left. Click hold, don't let go, and drag it all the way to the top. So I just changed, I just customized my order for my tabs and I placed notes at the top. When I'm finished, I'm going to go ahead and say OK. Auto order, sometimes it does what you expect it to do because it does its best guessing at what you want the order to be. But truly, my recommendation is look through the list and 100% identify the order that you would like for items to have. And then also, if you have something that's in your form just as a viewing only and people aren't supposed to be typing in that field, turn off the tab stop and it will not show in this list. I'll go ahead and say OK. And so now let's save and let's go to form view. And we go to form view, there's my cursor, right down there in the notes area. But let's go ahead and close this and let's go back to the double click opening it up for the first time. And you see now when the person's on the phone and they get to ask, where did you find us? And the person says, internet search. They type in internet search, tab, and now it takes them up to company. And now the tab order is set up properly for the use of this form. So you can let the default do its job when you create your forms. But if you change your mind or you change the order, now you know how to go out and use the tab stops to change the order of the tabs on any form that you have in your Access database. We hope you enjoyed this preview video. Please click on the like button below if you did and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Be sure to visit us at www.kalliance.com to sign up for your free seven day trial today. You could learn a lot in a week.